Hi there guys, Tom Quay here, actually doing a video on my own YouTube channel for the first time in ages, so I apologise massively for that. But that's because Wampler have sent me this awesome new pedal, which is coming out very, very soon. This is their Pantheon, and this is an overdrive pedal that kind of gives you the sound of the Marshall Blues Breaker pedal or circuit. And as usual, Brian has taken a circuit and has run with it and made it even better than the original. It's a fantastic sounding drive pedal. So based on the Marshall Blues Breaker, so you can go from kind of lower gain, bluesy kind of sounds all the way up with this particular version, all the way up to fairly insane amounts of gain here, actually. Very, very cool indeed. Really versatile EQ section. So you've got bass, treble, and a presence control, which you very rarely are gonna need to use unless you have a very, very dark amp and guitar combination. We've then got volume and gain, and then we've got two switches, and this is where it gets really cool and versatile. We've got a three-way gain setting switch, so we can have low gain, a medium gain with kind of more attack, and then a super high gain setting. And then we've got on the right-hand side there, a three-way voicing switch, which basically tailors the EQ for different settings, different guitars, and depending what you need. So it's very versatile indeed. As usual, before we do any sounds, we've got this really nice kind of purple, very cool metallic looking enclosure. Then we've got a non-latching switch on here, very cool artwork. Nice orange LED on there, which will actually flash three times if your battery is running out. Hopefully it won't flash on video. And we've got top mounted jacks here, so saving space on the pedal board. Then the DC input for nine or 18 volt operation. And of course, like all Wampler pedals, built superbly, really, really good quality with the warranty and everything in there as well. So very cool indeed. So for this particular demo, my signal chain, I will go through this super quick. I have a Laney Lionheart 2x12 combo over there, which is set to the clean channel. That is running into this Torpedo Studio um, two notes, uh, Torpedo Studio, even if I get the words in the right order, two notes Torpedo Studio, which is running some Bogner 2x12 IRs, which kind of are close to what the speakers would sound like. Um, so this is going in the front end. You're hearing a little bit of delay and reverb uh, from Studio One, my DAW as well. And that's it, basically. I'm using my Abenez TQ M1 here. Now the clean tone I've got is pretty dark and very, very neutral, okay? So I'm not particularly going for any particular kind of amp sound. It's not scooped or anything. So it's a very neutral sound. It sounds like this. <laughs> Go to position four. Okay, so it's quite dark, and the reason for that is because you can really add a huge amount of high end to this particular pedal circuit. So obviously it's quite useful to have a dark sound to be able to do that. And I recommend using quite a dark sound as the base for this particular pedal. So let's switch it on. What I've got here contr uh, controls wise, we've got the presence ever so slightly dialed in. We've got the bass rolled off, the treble rolled off just under halfway. We've got the volume boosting a little bit. In fact, I'll pull that back just a touch. Gain just over halfway or maybe uh, you know three quarters of the way up and the switches are in the center position. So really quickly just to tell you what happens, in the center position we got the most gain, in the upper position of the, uh, the gain setting we get a kind of spikier, slightly higher gain setting and the lowest position we get the least amount of gain. The voicing switch in the middle gives us a kind of scooped kind of sound for a rock sound. So once more, no more talking, uh, my clean tone. <laughs> Awesome, awesome drive sound, really, really cool. So that's with the highest gain setting. Let's crank the gain all the way just to show you exactly how much you can get and then we'll work backwards. <laughs> Very, very cool. Okay, so with the gain set around, again, three quarters of the way up, let's not touch the EQ controls. Let's just play with the voicing switch. So again, in the middle position. <laughs> And again, with this much gain, very, very pick sensitive. Mm -hmm. 
Don't do any wild bends like that. So let's bring the switch into the upward position. Slightly less scoop. Let's go to the downward position, it gets a little bit brighter, more gritty. <laughs> Okay, so let's play with the other controls. So that's the voicing control. Now, just to show you really quickly the range of gain available here, if we go to the downward position and touch nothing on the pedal. I really love the way this sounds, especially if you use your fingers. Okay, now then in the upward position, again touching nothing, go back to the bridge pickup. Back to the middle. Really quickly back to the upward position. So this has got way more gain than you would ever realistically need unless you're playing kind of gent stuff or metal stuff. For lead tones and rhythm rock tones, it's really, really up there. It's absolutely superb. So let's stick with the upper position here and we'll play with the EQ controls a little bit. So um, Let's start with the bass. We've got a ton of bass on here. These are really powerful EQ controls, so you can really get a huge number of uh, tones to suit different guitars and different amplifiers out of this pedal. So at the moment, we've got this. Now the Lionheart is quite a bottom end heavy amp because it's got 6L6s in there. So if we dial out even more of the low ends. We can really tighten things up nice. And of course, if we want to, we can really fatten that up. Although with the Lionheart, we're probably going to go too far here. If you're listening to this with a subwoofer, you've probably just, everything's just fallen off the shelves in your in your room. So it's pretty, pretty bottom endy. And of course you could go even further if you wanted to. So let's bring that back to where we had it before around here. And then the treble control is very, very powerful indeed. Now, if you combine that with the presence control, we really get a lot of power. So at the moment, again, we're set just under halfway. Now, of course, you can bring more definition in by dropping the switch down. Or if you stay in the middle position or the upper position, you can increase the treble control.
Okay, so really, really powerful. If we go even further, things will probably get to start to sound a little bit spiky with the lion hearts. <laughs> But if we go into the upward position and bring the bass up as well. So it sounds so different to how I had it uh, EQ'd before where we were back here. Very, very different indeed with the switch down. For my preference is a much smoother sound. Now, again, you can totally tailor the EQ to whatever you want, whichever guitar you want and whichever amp you want. Okay, so we'll do the range of gain last. Let's just check out the presence control. So. <laughs> Now, if we bring the presence control in very quickly, we add a huge amount of high end frequency. So you can make that much brighter without affecting your treble kind of balance. Okay, now if we go too far, again, this is why you have to be very careful with this control. It starts to get a little bit kind of brittle sounding, but it might be right for the amp you're using if you have a very, very dark, again, maybe you're using 6L6s and you, you're using kind of, you prefer kind of a very darker kind of clean tone, you can actually tailor that to the uh, specifics of what you need. But for me, I either have it rolled all the way off or just slightly open, very slightly. <laughs> There's a legato player that works a little bit better for me. So let's back the gain off and have a listen to how it sounds just as the final thing before we close. Then if we bring the switch down so we're in the lowest gain setting. And then use the pedal to boost even further. So a really wide range of beautiful tones available if we back the gain off even further with the level control a little bit. A little bit higher. So there you go guys, that is the Wampler Pantheon. It's available now, it's a fantastic pedal, really well built, awesome range of tones. Get that kind of Marshall blues breaker kind of vibe but with even more gain on tap and you can go from nice boosts all the way up to insane amounts of gain should you require it. And very powerful EQ section as well. So check out the link down below and you can go straight to the Wampler page to check out the specs for this pedal and to purchase the pedal direct from Wampler as well or from your nearest dealer. All right guys, my name's Tom Quayle. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the demo. Bye bye.